Hey baddies, it's your girl Ashley Tamar and today's topic, luxury perfume. That's right. Today we are going to talk about not only my tips to you on um, picking out new scents, the rules or tips that you should follow. I'm also going to hit you with four luxury perfumes that you can wear year round. So if this is what you're trying to do, stay tuned. Yeah. baddies welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Ashley Tamara I am the owner and writer for at eatandbougie.com I want to apologize in advance for me having a little eh, 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 voice today I am kind of getting over a little situation so I just got my voice back so I'm here for y'all so real quick just like I told you guys we are going to talk about luxury perfume this is actually one of my favorite accessories when it comes to an outfit because believe it or not it plays a huge role in completing a look whether um you guys believe it or not how you smell not only leaves a note with someone it's just a very intimate way it's a signature thing you know that you can be remembered by so you know when you're stepping into a room and you smell really good you're looking real good it just all goes hand in hand you know me personally as a woman you know to all the fellas out there if you walk up on me and i hug you and you don't smell like nothing i'm looking at you real crazy so i'm pretty sure men can appreciate this as well so yes we are gonna go ahead and talk about perfume definitely one of my favorite um things to do um i kind of started my collection <clears throat> it's been probably about two years now so i have all type of scents i have some of the top dog names you know we start talking about the tom ford the mason francis the yada 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 you know i'm not gonna say that i'm just this connoisseur but i know what a good fragrance smells like and i want to give you guys tips when things that I do when I go to pick out perfumes and just like I mentioned before I'm gonna hit you ladies with four scents that you can add to your collection it's perfect for year-round we're gonna talk about exactly what that means and yeah so let's go ahead and get started so step one I always recommend always 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 sample a scent before adding it to your collection um, when we start talking about fragrances you know they can get pretty pricey you know you got some scents that are out here four or five hundred dollars so before you just dive off into the scent world um, I highly recommend that you get scents um, a scent sample so um, when it comes to me introducing a new scent someone can say something an influencer may say oh this smells so good this is so amazing i never listen to what anyone else says yes i love to go to the influencers to see what's popping that way i know a direction to go in but you better believe i'm gonna go hit a department store um or um you know a sephora or a ulta to go and actually smell the scent before i commit to it <clears throat> The reason why is all y'all don't know what y'all be talking about. I mean, I could think of a couple of times. I could think of more than a couple of times, okay, where someone spoke so highly of a scent. And I wanted to just buy it because I'm like, oh, this girl got taste. She know what's up. But then it's like, I'll go and sample it. And there have been times where it gives white diamonds it gives nursery home so i'm not saying that that person doesn't have the best taste but it just may not be my palette so i always try to go and smell the scent before i even purchase it um so if you're in a situation where you aren't able to smell it in person a lot of the times you can reach out to the actual um business and they can send you samples so for example a lot of people don't give samples unless you purchase but you have scents like Barreto, um bond number nine where you can actually just buy a, a discovery kit and this gives you the opportunity to kind of smell those that scent they send you other scents and that way you know you know unless it's just a scent that you've tried before and you just know 
always sample it first. And if you're purchasing perfume for someone else, if you haven't smelled it yourself, don't go buying nobody no new scent that you just heard smell good. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you're buying a scent for someone or for yourself, it's a very intimate, personal gift. So you know what that person likes. You know what they're into. So you just don't buy them something that's totally off the radar. You know, for example, I bought a friend the new Burberry Her, but I had already smelled it, so I had an idea. And I knew that that is kind of like her palette. I knew that she would love it and absolutely. Now, I did skip a couple of other steps because I was gifting, but at least I knew that it smelled like something she would actually like. Um, so definitely always smell, sense, and person. That's guide tip number one. And that even goes for today. The scents that I'm gonna recommend to you guys, to me, I think I have great taste, but it may not work for you. May, you may get this scent and be like, ugh, it's just stink. I mean, it's not. But, you know, always just smell the scent first before committing. If you are a newbie to the, perf the perfume game, I definitely advise you to play it safe. And what this means is there are a couple of factors that goes into starting a scent collection. Um, for one, if you don't have a collection, I would highly advise for you to pick something that you can wear all year long. It is a little known secret to the people that aren't into perfume. You just can't wear every scent all year round. And perfect example in the case of myself, um, when it comes to Baccarat 540 Rouge, love how that smells. However, on me, during the summer months, the hotter months, for some reason, it just does not blend with my with my chemistry right. So it gives musty, not musky, musty. So it's like, eh, eh. But during the winter time, yes. So if I was just starting a perfume collection, I would not wanna uh, commit $375 to a bottle that I cannot really wear because it doesn't smell right. So this is why step one, sampling the perfume, you know, trying it on your skin, seeing how it works with the chemistry, and then making sure it is a scent that you can actually wear all the time. Um, because let's be clear, all scents are not created equal, meaning just because it's a high dollar scent, that does not mean that you get to just wear it whenever, however, whenever, you know? Um, some people do, but if you're trying to live like the bad, the bad babe lifestyle, that's just not how we doing it. You got to have scents that go with the occasion, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Okay, so um, I mentioned body chemistry. Yes, every scent that is created, it does smell a certain way. The notes are all there. They use the same ingredients for each bottle. However, once you spray a scent onto your skin, it immediately customizes to your body chemistry. Now I'm gonna be real, I don't know the science behind perfumes. I haven't even looked that deep into it, but there is a known fact that how something may smell on me and my chemistry, it smells totally different on you. So when you're picking out scents, you want to pick something that flows with your body chemistry that you actually like. Um, there have been times where I'll spray something on a piece of paper and it smells a certain way, but then when I go to put it on my skin, it's like, no, it just doesn't mesh well. So newbies, when you're out there searching for perfume, make sure that you're picking things. Not only it smells good upon sample, um, it's something that you can wear all year round, um, meaning any season. You also want to make sure that it mixes well with your chemistry, um, you know, your body chemistry in it, and it just, it's, it's a scent for you. Now, when it comes to purchasing um, perfume, this stuff can get very expensive. Just like I mentioned, you know, a bottle of Baccarat is $3.75 for the smaller bottle. So you want to make sure that you're making smart decisions when it comes to your scents. At the end of the day, this is your money. You ain't got to prove to nobody. So for you to just see, okay, yeah, I got a bond number nine. I spent 440 on it just to show it on the gram. Is this something that you're really happy with? So one thing that I always do, anytime that I introduce a new scent to my collection and I'm not 100% sure about it, I'm always gonna go with a smaller bottle. That way I can actually get to know the, the scent really see if it's something that I would want to invest my money in 
And, you know, I'm not just blowing all of my money on one bottle of perfume I'm not sure about. Because trust me, I have sense to this day that I have tried to be baller, shot collar, get the big bottle, and guess what? They're still sitting right there on the shelf and they sitting right there because I don't like them. But this was before I had a video like this to give me the tips that I'm giving you guys. So please don't make the mistake of trying to look like the big bad baller and buying the big bottle of the perfume. It's okay to get a small bottle because this stuff still costs money, okay? okay. Now, when we start talking about the price of the scent, that does not determine how good a scent is. I'm gonna be real with y'all. There are some scents out there that are top dollar and they just straight up stink. Don't think that the more you spend, the better it's gonna smell. Also, don't think the more you spend, it's gonna hold longevity. There are some perfumes out there that are top dollar that fade away within a matter of hours. You know, there are some non-luxury perfumes that can go toe to toe with the best. So don't think because it's a top dog name, um, and I'm just gonna say it, it's some Tom Fords that just think. Okay, there are some Mason Francis, it's just overwhelming. Don't get caught up in the price and the name and the fact that everybody is just wearing it, that that is what works. You have to go with what is in your lane, what floats your boat, because again, it is it's an expression of you. Um, wearing a perfume, especially the luxury perfumes, it is an expression of who you are and what scent you want to leave in the world so when it comes to having a collection you also want to have what your stay is meaning that you know this is one of your go-to's you're always going to have it around i have a few of them um one of my perfumes that i'm going to share with you guys today it's hands down in my stay collection meaning it's going to stay with me forever when i run out a new bottle's going to get caught just as simple as that. So when you hear me say the word stay throughout this video, that's exactly what I mean. And that's pretty much it as far as the guide goes. Um, it's not super extensive. You just wanna make sure that you're shopping with confidence, you're smelling what you're buying first, and you're picking things that goes with your body chemistry and that you actually love um, and that you're confident in buying. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the four scents as promised that I recommend. Um, these are all um, definitely in the feminine touch. I do have one that is um, gender neutral, meaning that it can be male or female, um, it's unisex. So let me just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with my newest ones down to my absolute favorites, kinda in that order. So this first scent, this is completely new to my collection, hence we have a smaller bottle. Now this is what I'm holding in my hand, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually called the Perfumes D Marley Paris. And um, a friend had actually told me about it and it just so happened I went in Nordstrom's recently to go smell another scent and I saw this and whoa. So this is actually called Delina. Um, they do have two variations, but I have just the simple one. This junk smells so good, y'all. First of all, um, this is a scent that you can wear all year round. They recommend it's worn in the daytime and I totally understand why. Um, I probably have been wearing it for like two weeks now and I can tell you right now, even though I took my own advice, I did go with a smaller bottle. Um, this was $175. This is the, uh, it looked real little, but let me tell you guys, this is the, uh, the 30 milliliter, one ounce. It looks small, but when I tell you this stuff goes such a long way, it smells good. And when I tell you it smells good with my chemistry and what I also noticed, this is one of those scents, it's gonna stay on you all day long. So this is gonna be more in your florally scents. Let me just hit, let me just hit it one time for y'all. Ooh, ooh, child, ooh. Okay, so this is just giving a super fresh floral scent. This has hints of lychee, bergamot. The heart notes are like vanilla, Turkish rose. So it's a very feminine scent. If you were to ask me what a woman should smell like that care about herself, I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be one of them. Um, I'm almost a little sad that I got the smaller bottle because I'm gonna be going back to get the larger one. I can definitely see this being as a stay in my collection. 
um like i said i've probably had it for about two weeks now i bought it on a whim as soon as i smelled it it was one of those ones it was like yes this is coming home with me i don't care this is the one so don't take my word for it per our things but if you already know this that one hey the link gonna be there y'all don't have to listen to my rules but i'm telling you this thing smells good honey good guy okay moving right along okay so the next thing that i want to talk about is this one this is going to be the versace dylan blue now this is actually the female version they also have a male version um, I'm not 100% sure what that smells like because I have yet to sample that. However, this right here smells so good. This is definitely a scent that I would recommend um, that can be worn all year. Um, I will wear this in the daytime. I would even wear this at night. I actually put this on today. And baby, oh child. When I say it just is a pretty... I mean, this is just giving very expensive. This is giving, I mean, business if I show up and I hug you and I'm smelling like this. Who? It's just very unique. It's not too sweet. It's not too masculine. It's just right. So, even the bottle is beautiful. I mean, it has like this, I mean, you know, I've been touching on it, but it has like the gold, you know, it screams rich. It's Versace. So it has like that sapphire blue. Um, the top of the head has the Medusa head. I mean, the top of the bottle has the Medusa head. It's here. Um, again, it's just embraced with gold. It's just a very pretty bottle, you know, to have on display in general. But I'm telling you guys, the smell is just. So um, in the case of this, this was the only size. Um, but again, at $125 and the way this smelled, this was just kind of one of those ones I did not mind spending, you know, the money on. I really didn't have a choice. Yeah. Nah. So um, I can't say that this would be a stay, but I definitely would use this as a go to. Um, it might be. Um, but as of right now, this will be one of those ones I kind of just go to when I want to smell something different, when I want to smell something else. That's going to be the one for me. This might be a steak for you, but I'm telling you, go sample it. Or if you already know what time it is, hey, hey, trust me on it. Trust me. I got it. Okay. But don't trust me. <laughs> but trust what I'm saying. So when it comes to the notes, the top, the top notes are going to be Granny Smith, Black Current, and Forget Me Monots. So it definitely has that florally um top note but then your base set you know when it kind of starts to settle in it does kind of have that that fresh it, it kind of has a slight musky smell to it and that's probably why i was so attracted to it but when i tell y'all i mean this just smells fresh it just smells like a rich woman and i know rich i'm gonna say rich a lot because i feel like if i'm spending my money on this stuff i want to smell like a rich lady and let me tell y'all, the Versace Blue Dylan is going to give you that rich vibe that you're probably looking for. You, you come to work smelling like this. You show up on a date smelling like this, baby. You hug somebody smelling like this, baby. They going to be like, what is it? I need to know. This is, this is that one that's going to do that. Okay, we're going to move right along. This next scent is probably one that I've probably been wearing for like a year. It's definitely um, my favorite, but this one right here, Greenwich Village by Bond Number no. 9. This is my year round Baccarat. And let me tell y'all something. I know them other two I said smell good, baby. But this is one of those ones. This is actually a unisex scent. So ladies, if you get this, you gotta hide this one from your man. Men, if you got this, you got to hide this one from your woman because both of y'all can wear this and it's going to smell so bomb. This scent right here, this scent is so mature, so grown, and so sexy. When I got um, another, when I made another purchase for another bond, um, you always get, I think, three samples. Um, I chose Greenwich Village because I heard really good things about it. So with the notes, a peony, liche. This is just such a unique and beautiful smell, guys. Um, this is definitely one that I can wear all year round, but this is definitely a nighttime scent for me. When I'm on my, I'm about to go out and get sexy. 
this is what y'all gonna smell me smelling like. I'm talking about eight times out of 10, I'm gonna wear this. So um, I did take my own advice. I bought the smaller bottle um, because this actually goes a very long way. And when I tell you this thing stays on you, this thing gonna be on you all night. The next morning, it's one of those scents that is in your sheets if you fall asleep with it on. It smells heavenly. Now, um, the 50, or what is this? This is the 50 milliliter bottle. It's about $320, but what I just found out is that you can actually get bond number nine on Amazon directly through bond number nine, and it's a fraction of this cost. So if you are a bond number nine person, I'm here to tell you, I just found out, I wish I would've knew this like six bottles ago. Amazon sells this stuff for way cheaper. We're talking about like an $180 range. So you better believe that not only is this a stay in my collection, when I'm ready to re-up on this, which will be a while, because even though I wear it a lot, you don't need a lot. This is one of those ones a little goes a long way. I would definitely be purchasing my next bottle on Amazon. Um, however you got to smell this, or if you just want to trust me, if you're, you're making your next order, get a sample of this and add this to your collection. This one is a yes, okay? It stay on you, it smell good, and you and your man can wear it. It's a yes. Bond number nine, Greenwich Village. And, you know, of course, it's the bond number nine, so it has the, the signature star shape. But the thing that I love about this bottle, it also has like this crocodile alligator swag to it. Um, if you have this scent, if you are familiar with this scent, please drop a comment and let, let the people know that I'm just not making this up when it comes to this scent. Even when you go to read the reviews online, they're nearly five stars, and it's because this is such just a beautiful scent. Like, I don't even know what someone can say wrong about this scent. And I'm not being biased. It's, this is that one, y'all. It's it's the one. I ain't gonna say it's the one, but it's definitely up there on my favorite scents in my collection. So from me to you, you are very welcome. It's, it's just, it leaves me speechless because I don't even know how to subscribe this other than give this a try. Honestly, this would be one of the ones you just want to buy. But if you're not a masculine set person, remember our rules. This may not be your tribe, but if honestly, it don't matter what tribe you in. And last but certainly not least, another one of my favorite go-tos is also from bond number nine. This is called the scent of peace. And babies, when I tell y'all, if I had to explain to someone what peace smells like, I can see why they chose this. Now, if you notice the difference in size, this is the larger bottle. And there is a reason for that. Um, so quick history of me and this scent. This is my everyday go-to scent. You can wear this year round. Um, I definitely would say this is more of a daytime, but you could do it at night. Um, if you don't have a huge collection, this is totally acceptable. But seven times out of 10, if you pull up on me, I'm gonna probably smell like this right here on any given day. Um, as you can see, we've already gone through half of the bottle. I think I got this earlier this year. That's how much I use this. This, it smells so fresh. It smells so clean. This is also actually a unisex, now that I'm thinking about it. So men and women can actually do this. This junk, this junk, as y'all saying, Philly, this smells so good. They all smell good, but this is a different kind of smell good. So this has grapefruit that must, must smell black currant. So it's just very fresh. Um, it's a really unique scent. Just like Greenwich Village, this too can actually be found on Amazon for a lot cheaper. Now, um, originally how I even came to have this scent, originally a friend bought this as a birthday gift because they just knew, okay? Again, they know. If it smell good, they, they know that I would like. And she was absolutely right because I went through, she bought me the smaller bottle again. They listen. I don't even know. 
they just know. The larger bottle, um, the 100 milliliter is about $440, where your 50 milliliter is about $295. But again, I just learned that Amazon sale bond number nine at a fraction of the cost. So um, I'm gonna be sure to leave the links for all of these beautiful, delicious, coveted scents for you guys. But again, I did give you a guide. If you're not 100% sure, if you have not sampled these, um, I would definitely advise you to sample these scents first, unless you're just that connoisseur, you already know what something smells like based off of the notes that are given. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. I need to smell it in person to know. Um, that actually is gonna wrap this video. So I really hope that the little guide that I gave you guys um, when it comes to buying new luxury scents and a couple of new ones for you to try um, is helpful. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you're not already, be sure that you're hitting that subscribe button. You are cutting on your notifications so that you know every time your girl makes a new post. And make sure you like this video. If you're loving the content that I'm putting out, let your girl know. That way I know what direction to do more of. Um, so other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And then I will see you guys next video. Until next time. Bye.